the arts were something important to the, to the founding president of Rice and have been significant in the evolution of the university. Certainly notably, the last 37 years with the, the growth uh, and the ascent of the Shepherd School. This, at the 100th benchmark, reconfirms the, the position the university has toward the arts, the fact that we would go out and, as part of the celebration, commission a new work by a prominent artist, William Bolton. To be the ones that will bring to life, our orchestra bring to life this creation of, of such a, a, a highly renowned artist who is giving us his, his best work as his gift to Rice's 100th year and the celebration of that uh, is I think as uh, perhaps uh, as meaningful a way as one could hope to pay tribute to the university. The idea was to write something that would uh, fit the occasion somewhat. It's a very somber piece. It's nothing to do with uh, the, everybody asked, do I, am I going to do something about the history of rice? And I said, well, no, because uh, that would turn it into the occasional piece category. What I really wanted to do was to write the piece I'd wanted to write. And I knew that I had a wonderful conductor whom I'd known before in his old days at Larry Ratchlap. And I also knew that these days, having done many residencies since I retired from the University of Michigan in 2008, that the orchestras in universities and music schools right now are across the board, with very few exceptions, excellent. And I knew Rice would be in that category among the very best, and so I knew I had no worries. Bill Balcom doesn't write any easy music, nor should he. Uh, these great uh, composers uh, write what's in their head, uh, what's in their imagination, uh, as I'm sure Bill has spoken about. And in this case, uh, whether it was written for us or the Berlin Philharmonic, uh, I don't think that probably would have mattered. Historically, the Ninth Symphony is oftentimes the last symphony. So he started referring to it as both his Ninth Symphony and his last symphony. Never say never, as the James Bond character says, but uh, uh, up to this point, he's still treating it like his ninth. And it's very different from his earlier symphonies, which are very large and expansive in nature, because he thought for this particular purpose, what he had in mind was condensing his 60 years of musical thought and practice into a very uh, condensed uh, piece, you know, a very terse, cogent piece. It's 15 minutes. It's, it's a four-movement symphony packed into one 15-minute movement. There's a lot in there. It's very much the piece that could result from the wisdom of someone who's been composing. He's now 74, and he's been composing since the age of 11. I think if President Lovett were here today to experience this, and particularly the, uh, the premiere of William Bolcom's Ninth Symphony performed by the Shepherd School of Music's Symphony Orchestra, I think he would be, uh, feel enormously fulfilled and deeply and profoundly satisfied that all of what he thought of university, the university that he was the founding president of, could eventually become, had, had been realized. Thank <laughs> you.